How do we differentiate e raised to the power of x? Well, we have been told that the derivative of e to the x, it's still e to the x. But what is the reason for this? Let us figure it out together. Notice that we have a variable x in the exponent. According to the logarithm rule, where we have log base m of k raised to the power of n as an example, we can bring the exponent down and we end up with n multiplied by the log. Therefore, in this case, we can take the natural log on both sides of the equation so that we can bring the x down and we will be getting ln y equal to x multiplied by ln e. As we know, the natural log of e is simply equal to 1. So, we end up with ln y equal to x. Now, we take the derivative of this by applying implicit differentiation. We take the derivative on both sides. You may check out the video above or in description if you wanted to learn more about implicit differentiation. Taking the derivative of ln y with respect to x. Suppose that we have ln x and the derivative of it is 1 over x. Therefore, in this case, we will be getting 1 over y. Notice that we are taking the derivative of a term that has y inside of it, but we're differentiating it with respect to x, so we multiply it by dy dx. Taking the derivative of x, we get 1. All we have to do now is to solve for dy dx. Multiply both sides by y, so that we can cancel it out on the left-hand side. And we only left with dy dx, which is equal to y. And we are done. But did you notice that this y is actually our original function, e to the x? Therefore, we can replace the y with e to the x. Congratulations! We've just discovered that the derivative of e to the x, it's still e to the x. Drop a comment below if you are struggling with any part of the calculations. I spend hours making videos explaining math topics, and all I ask for in return is simply to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.